but word problems seem to always be the detriment of most students, all right? So I wanna go through these two word problems to kinda help you guys out because I think word problems are gonna be your most difficult part of this test. And the reason why word problems are the most difficult part is because students have a hard time setting them up. So remember, what we're doing when doing a word problem is we always want to read through the word problem first. So it says the sum of two numbers is 12. The difference of the same two numbers is negative 4. Find the numbers. So the first thing I always like to do is I always like to kind of rephrase the question and say, what are we trying to find? All right, Mallory? So we're trying to say, what are we looking for? And usually, the question says exactly what we're looking for. It says, find the numbers. So we're trying to find out what the numbers are. Now, do we have one number we're trying to find? No. Two numbers? Three numbers? How many numbers are we trying to find? <laughs> Two numbers. So what I'm going to immediately do is I'm going to set variables, right? Because variables are what you don't know, correct? Yes. So I'm going to say x will be the first one. So x equals a number that I do not know its value. Let's do y, another number. Do we know the values of x and y? No. no. But do we understand that these are unknowns, and that's what we're trying to find? Yeah. Right. Now, do you guys remember at the beginning of SIF systems, I told you, if you have one variable, how many equations do you need? If you have one variable, how many equations do you need to solve for it? One. If you have, I'll get to you in a second. If you have two variables, how many equations do you need? Two. two. OK? Yes, your question. So would you set it up like x plus y equals 12, and then another equation saying x minus y equals negative 4? Well, that sounds very good. Let's go and see if that makes sense. So it says the sum of the two numbers is 12. So sum, sum tells you to do what? Add, subtract, multiply, divide, add. add. So yeah, that sounds like you're going. So you could say x plus y equals 12. Then it says the difference of those same two numbers is also is equal to negative 4. So you could say x minus y equals negative 4. Now we have a systems of equation that was like your homework. But here's kind of the trick. Before, I asked you guys to say, hey, solve this by substitution. Or hey, solve this by elimination. Could you please just keep on looking up here and not look over there? So I, when you guys are looking at this, um, you're going to have to pick which way you want to solve. Solve by elimination or solve by substitution. substitution. OK, substitution, anybody want to do elimination? I know, I do elimination. OK, well, let's, let's do it either way. If I was going to do elimination, it would look like this. And if I was going to do substitution, it would look like this. OK? So elimination, what do we do for elimination? You just add and subtract, right? All you got to do is add and subtract. But you got to make sure that they have the same coefficients. So since I noticed that these both have 1 and 1, I could subtract the two equations. But since this one is positive 1 and negative 1, I can also just add the two equations, and I'll eliminate my y variable. So if I add these two equations, I get 2x y minus y is 0y equals positive 8. Now can I solve for x? Yes. Divide by 2, x equals 4. Now let's do this by substitution and solve for the x variable as well, just because we want to see what the difference is, if it would be the same. Because some of you don't understand elimination. You like substitution better, because that's what we learned first. So how would I solve this by substitution? Remember, you need to pick a variable that has a 1 or a negative 1 in front. Well, they all have 1 or negative 1, right? So you really get to kind of choose which variable you want to solve for. And in this case, I'm going to solve for this y. So to do that, all I do is I do x plus y equals 12. To solve for this y, I subtract an x on both sides, and I get y equals 12 minus x. I now plug that into my other equation. So I'd have x minus 12 minus x equals negative 4. So I take whatever this equation is and plug it in for y of the other equation. I now do distributive property. So I have x minus 12 plus x equals negative 4. Add the 12. x plus x is 2x equals 8. Divide by 2. 
x equals 4. Do you guys see how either system you use is going to provide you with the same answer? Then, once you know what x is, plug that into the other equation. So you write x is 4, so y equals 12 minus 4, y equals 8. And is that true? Is 8 plus 4 equal to 12? Yeah. yeah. Is 8 minus 4 or 4 minus 8 equal to negative 4? Yeah. Yes. And there you go.